Aloha, this is William, and today we'll be talking about solid state drives. Man, what's this about driving around in a solid state? Sounds, uh, sounds kind of cold or something, I don't know. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get some details on solid state drives and computers and what's going on with that. Okay, so we'll mosey into our first slide here. And what we got, what we got? So solid state storage, talk a bit about that. And what it has, or what it uses, is an integrated circuit to store data. Okay, in integrated circuit. All right, so it's, it's a solid circuit as opposed to, say, um, a hard disk drive, which has the, the platters and the moving parts to it. Okay. Uh, solid state storage, just boom. It's just the circuit and it's just sitting there. Um, doesn't sound too exciting, but uh, let's see what's exciting about it. Okay. Um, so with the solid state storage, we have uh, plenty of advantages, say, over the traditional uh, hard disk drive. Okay, one, like I was saying, there's no moving parts. Okay, so no moving parts mean there, there, it's less likely that something will, will break. If something's moving, you have friction, and eventually it breaks down. It's just uh, how the world is made. <laughs> and then uh, it's quicker, okay, faster, to access the data as compared to your hard disk drives. Okay, it's just faster access speed, uh, reading and writing. Um, so, you know, we all... Uh, like that as we get more and more impatient as things get faster, it seems. And then, it's, it's great too, it requires less power than hard disk drives. Okay, so it's great for your laptop, your mobile devices. You know, as you know, uh, the battery eventually runs out. Ah, the battery, got to recharge. So uh, the solid state uh, storage is uh, using less power, and I guess uh, you could say it's better for the environment. We're going green with our solid state storage. Um, but yeah, seriously, it's, it's uh, a lot better uh, for these smaller devices since you do have limited uh, battery power uh, and you know, limited just about everything. So we're trying to shrink it down, use less power, and uh, still make it fast. Okay, sounds like the perfect scenario here. Okay, well, everything has a disadvantage, doesn't it? Um, as well as advantages. So let's look at the disadvantages of our solid state storage here. And the main, really, the main disadvantage is that the, um, it's more expensive uh, than your traditional hard disk drives. And, you know, over time, uh, this will change as engineers figure out more tricks to making these and figure out the businesses, figure out cheaper ways of um, creating the uh, solid state storage. Uh, but for now, it's, it's still more expensive. Uh, I guess bit by bit or byte by byte. Okay. Um, but you know, that will change over time. So let's see, let's get some more um, information on these solid state drives. Okay, so they're actually inside the system unit, uh, replacing the hard drive. And again, it's secondary storage. So remember uh, a couple lectures ago, we talked about secondary storages versus primary storage. Okay, so primary storage is close to the, um, the CPU. And so the CPU is used in primary storage to store data and program short term so it can get in there and pull out all the data it needs real quickly. Uh, when the power goes off, uh, primary storage is gone. And then, so we need secondary storage to store all our data and programs for the long-term uh, basis, okay? So uh, solid-state uh, drives can replace the uh, hard drive, uh, hard disk drive on your computer. Um, and again, we just went over the advantages and disadvantages of that. Okay, so let's see different uh, uses now for our solid-state drives. Okay, so the flash uh, memory cards are uh, part of all this, uh, we say, technology. And it's, they're small, uh, portable. I guess most small things are portable. Anyway, it's solid state storage uh, that are used uh, to store things or store, things, store data. Uh, it's like this flat kind of card format. And they're pretty tiny, yeah, so they're pretty easy to, uh, to lose. 
But they're great, you know, like for your, say, digital camera. You can store your data in there. And um, even though they're pretty tiny, they store lots and lots and lots and lots of data. The uh, flash memory cards, again, uh, I just kind of said this, but uh, digital cameras, and then also good for uh, transferring files. So you can pull out your digital camera and po uh, poke it into your, your uh, computer or other device, and then you know, check out all your uh, cool photographs. OK, so also, you know, we have these in laptops, your smartphone. Um, I don't know if y'all do uh, much things outside, but you know, use your GPS to navigate things, uh, even your digital media players. Okay, so a lot of these are used, uh, can use the flash memory cards. Again, the tiny little cards and then um, easy to uh, misplace. Okay, so let's mosey in to our next little part here. And uh, the, the USB flash drives. Okay, so this is a universal, even though it's just planet Earth, okay, it's a universal uh, serial bus. And uh, you know, they're small again, portable. You know, lately they're like the size of a dime. You almost have to build an extra plastic just to uh, keep track of these things. But USB, because they plug into the USB port, okay? And typically, uh, say 16, 32, 64 gigabytes. Uh, even more. So I think, um, you know, uh, around this time of the filming, um, even they have one that's a terabyte, so 10, 24 gigabytes. Um, and uh, just, I'll, I'll throw a little trivia in here today. Okay, 10, 24. So 10, 24 is 2 to the 10th power. We know that because Dr. Pepper time is at 10, 2, and 4. That's when you drink your Dr. Pepper. Uh, that was a tip from my math teacher from long ago. So 2 to the 10th power, 10 to 4, Dr. Pepper time. You heard it here, so just some trivia. Anyway, but uh, back to our, our terabyte um, USB flash drive. So yeah, you put a lot, a lot, a lot of data on these things. Wow, sound, sounds great, man. Like, wow, what, what could go wrong with that? OK, so we'll see our advantages and disadvantages uh, next few slides here and see uh, what's going on with that. OK, so for our advantages, well, uh, again, no moving parts. So less likely things will break down. And uh, again, so it doesn't use much power. So kind of like we were talking about earlier, uh, same thing with, with uh, as we said earlier. and then. The data actually can be difficult to destroy, which might be a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know. Depending on what data you have so that's stored in there. And then uh, one great advantage is that some flash drives can survive a washing machine. Okay, so uh, if you're the kind of person that um, you know needs to make sure their USB flash drive can survive a washing machine, uh, you might want to get one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wouldn't know anything about that, though. Um, hmm. Okay, so uh, let, so that's advantages. Uh, let's let's see some disadvantages here, though, with with the USB. Let's see here. So the disadvantages uh, it does have a limited amount of time uh, that they can be read from and written to, or a number of times that you do that uh, is limited. Okay, so they don't last forever. All right, so. When you start getting some troubles with your uh, flash drive, USB flash drive, then it's time to get a new one uh, before it just completely uh, um, stops working. Yeah, so um, be be aware of that. It does have, it does have a limited lifespan, I guess. And y'all are probably very aware of this. It's easily misplaced. Okay, you got to tie a bunch of string on it, or you know your kitchen sink or something, so you don't lose these things. Um, so a lot of times I, I, I tell students to store things on the cloud instead of use the USB flash drive to store all this stuff. And then actually, uh, it's somewhat of a security threat. Okay, so a couple of things, uh, talk about that. Uh, main thing is, you know, if you find a USB flash drive sitting around somewhere, just wherever, sidewalk, classroom, or whatever, uh, the one thing you do not want to do, okay, the last thing you want to do is take it and plug it into your computer. 
Okay, so a lot of times there's viruses that are stored on these things, some intentional, some not. Okay, so um, I don't know. I, you know, my buddy gives me uh, his or her flash drive. Some of them like, well, hmm, uh, I trust my buddy here. No, but um, but yeah, be careful. There might be viruses in there that people don't even know about. Okay, uh, and they think that uh, perhaps the uh, a couple years ago now, but there was a virus called Stuxnet that got into a nuclear power plant and took it down. Uh, this is over in the Middle East, and I think probably uh, the PowerPoint, uh, PowerPoint, the power plant got infected uh, through USB flash drives that were maybe thrown around in the parking lot or something like that. Um, so yeah, so uh, they are a security threat. If you find one. Uh, you probably don't have to worry about your nuclear power plant unless you uh, work in one, but you do need to worry about your computer. So um, you know, don't plug it in uh, if it's just some random USB flash drive that you find. Okay, um, that's about it for today, and uh, we'll catch y'all next time, or at the end of the show. Uh, aloha. See y'all later. <laughs>